That's sort of a Bruce Springsteen moment there. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway here at the last place on earth located somewhere in Podcaster Valley. This is episode 892. Today it's the finale of my intern interview with the Nashville singer-songwriter composer K.S. Rhodes. We hear a brand new song from him, plus we hear from Madame Rutabaga Valentino. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I'll also hear from Bison Bentley. And after all of that, we might have to partake in a little vino. Mike's Daily Podcast. So I ended up not going to Pride. I was going to take some pictures with my iPhone by my side, record a couple folks, maybe ask them why it took so long for gays to marry or is this a slippery slide pretty soon dogs and cats will be living with each other real armageddon type stuff mike's daily podcast also the girls at the pride parade are really hot and fill me with lust mike's which is a seven deadly sin so you can't win podcast unless you give the mega church your pin yeah number so i'm uh, learning a lot about all this because i'm working at a radio station i'm behind the scenes kind of producing shows that are of a religious nature look who just walked in hello michael Matthews. this is my dog and i think that's a pride parade is so colorful Ooh. yeah that was over a week ago i did get a chance to watch it on a local station they were carrying it and i think i would have been Underdressed. I was planning on just wearing like a really blah shirt and you know, just sort of black shorts, and I would have needed to really step that up a bit. Look who just also walked in. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino the Parking Attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, what about the 4th of July? You also missed that since you did your last podcast day. Yeah, what did you do? Do you know that? Well, I didn't really... I worked, and I watched the fireworks from where I was working. The city of Dublin, let me tell you, lots of fireworks. Lots of illegals. Fireworks, I mean. Going off, not the Donald Trump thing. Uh, Just exploding in air. The bombs bursting. And I was enjoying it. It was fun. I was working, watching the fireworks. It was great. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Except for a Toyota. So, Michael Matthew, have you found a new roommate yet? Ooh. You're such a lovable lady, Madame Rutabaga. Thank you, but I don't want to be your roommate. I'm not asking you to be my roommate. That's okay, I don't want to be your roommate. That's all right, Madame Rutabaga. Do you like my jangly jewelry? Yes, it's so jangly and loud. Can't hear it, actually. But you know what, Madame, the thing is, is uh, I did have a potential roommate... And then she, uh, he turned out to, all of a sudden, he found a place at the last minute. I possibly may have dragged my feet. And you know, that's the thing. Is if you don't think it's right, if it, if it doesn't check off all the boxes for you, if you are renting a room or renting a room to someone, you kind of have to say no. And I think uh, my procrastination was speaking volumes. Let's hear it for procrastination speaking volumes. <laughs> That's very interesting, Mike, because that's basically your subconsciousness talking to you, D. Yeah, you gotta listen to that part of you that you never listen to. Because you can't. Because you don't have a direct way of listening to it. Except for in your dreams. Do you know that? That's true, Bison. Very true indeed. Well, I just wanted to also mention... That today or was it yesterday was National Fried Chicken. It was not. It was yesterday. We missed a bunch of big days since I've been gone. I sorry. I my new job. I'm blaming it on my new job, and I was quite busy. I have two jobs, and they were pulling me away. Plus, I do this daily uh, morning show for this Connecticut radio station. And if you are listening to me right now because you heard me on the morning show say, "Hey, listen to this show." Thank you for doing that. Uh, we're getting a lot of members on that radio station, which you can find through a link at my website at mikesdailypodcast.com. 
I, it, it takes a lot of my time And then also I'm also doing a Country Crossroads radio on the weekend So it's hard to keep this going Even though I said this is a daily podcast But I will It will not die This show It, it comes from my heart And it comes from my basement So it makes it really easy You mean it comes from the cafe anyway It's the last place on earth in Podcastro Valley Ooh. Exactly Just wanted to clarify that Thank you madam Yes, yeah, so that's what I was saying. What was this? Madame Rutabaga is a puppet based on that puppet, Madame, with Waylon Flower. No, she's not. She, Madame Rutabaga is is a immortal person that is an enigma. It, it, sh, we celebrate her on the Fourth of July. We do, along with uh, Country Music Day, the Fourth of July, the Independence of America. Day And it was also National Hillbilly Day So a lot of stuff was going on this weekend But now we move forward And we continue our talk with KS Rose But I just want to remind you that you can Email me what you think about all that At mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com Nobody ever does But if you want to you can do that there And also let me know if you'd like to sponsor the show Or be a guest on the show Through that email And there's also a place that you can Comment on the show Lots of places as a matter of fact Our Facebook page at facebook.com Slash Mike's Daily Podcast Also on Twitter My handle is at Mike Talks And we read your comments on the section Emails from email and your common not so comments Also check out the website Mike'sDailyPodcast.com With links to where to listen to the show In iTunes Please comment on the show and rate the show there If you do that More people find out about us And we don't languish in obscurity And that's a wonderful thing YouTube We're also on that On SoundCloud TuneIn Stitcher Podomatic Mixcloud Spreaker Player FM And Ameristream Live And you can find out Where you can listen to the Morning show that I do In Connecticut Weekday mornings Eastern time 6am to 10am And then also On the weekends I do a country show At countrycrossroadsradio.com Links to all that As well as where you can find Find us on the Instagram, Cracker, Yelp, Tumblr, and yes, you can also check out the blog, The Daily Podcast Picture, all my past interviews there at MikeSailyPodcast.com. Another way to help us out is the Amazon link. If you're going to buy anything on Amazon, go through that link at MikeSailyPodcast.com, and if you do that, then we get a little support from that whenever you buy anything from Amazon. I'm running out of breath. I haven't done this in a while. My lungs are undeveloped. Mm. But the, I have to say, the water is still delicious here at Cafe Anyway. Michael Master, it's because the brewmaster is not here. Oh, it looks like the brewmaster is here. Hello there, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. All right, you came in too late. We're done. All right. Uh, interview. Into an interview. Okay. I'm speaking with K.S. Rhodes, and he's got a new album called Wilderness. And KS, I wanted to ask you about your hat collection. I like hats as well. Oh, all right. You have a lot of hats. You know, I do, and I always did since I was a young kid. Even when I had hair, I, I wore a lot of hats. I, and uh, now I don't have any hair, and I still wear a lot of hats. I'm the same way. Yeah. I, I, but, yeah, I can't really find hats that really are intriguing, like your hats are intriguing. Those are cool. Well, you know, it's hard these days. And, you know, also hats, like, some, you know, like the fedora used to be kind of a great hat. It's kind of gotten, you know, destroyed mm. by some terrible versions of it and so on and so forth. But it is what it is. Yeah, look up KS Rhodes and see his awesome hats. He's always wearing a cool hat. Uh, <laughs> and he's, he's a man who wears many hats because you arranged music for the Nashville Symphony Orchestra and... and and you make your own music. And then tell me about, because you, you are who you are, is is okay, a little bit right, more stripped yeah. down. Because there's like a, a uh, jazz, uh, kind of like an upright bass in this, too. Yeah, there is, there is actually. Um, well, I did that in one afternoon. I, uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, I, um, I have spent the past couple of years not so much writing for my record, but just... Uh, you know, writing for all sorts of purposes for other people's records, for commercials and stuff. And um, this music supervisor named Mike Boris, who, uh, you know, if you don't know a music supervisor, is they basically uh, work with companies and, and TV shows and movies and movie trailers and 
Um, their job is basically to find the music for, you know, whatever their project is. And this guy reached out to me and said that Academy Sports uh, just need, they needed a song for a Father's Day promotion for the show or whatever. Not show, but commercial. And, uh, and so I just gave a shot at it. And uh, just that day I wrote, uh, basically, I actually never grew up with a father. Um, and, you know, the commercial, you know, because you're writing to it, so you're sort of seeing the visuals and getting the vibe. And the commercial's a bunch of fathers sort of uh, having these adventures with their children and stuff where they're camping and, and, you know, riding bikes and stuff. But, you know, growing up, we, we had a single mom who sort of did all of that, and we used to celebrate Father's Day um, with her. So we, we always celebrate Mother's Day for my mother, and then we'd do a little something on Father's Day when we were growing up. Because, uh, you know, she taught us to throw footballs and everything. So, um, yeah, so I just sort of had her in mind when I wrote that Father's Day song. And, um, you know, you do things like that, you turn them in, and, you know, a lot of times uh, it, it doesn't happen. But I think Academy just really felt like it was the right song for the commercials. So uh, they put it in there. And then uh, I just, you know, sent a link to that commercial when it came out. And there shouldn't be a lot of people that really connected to the lyric or something. So. And what is your advice for people that are like future musicians and singer songwriters? Um, I guess my advice would probably be go to law school and get a law degree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and bail. No, um, I would say you just got to You got to um, you can't you can't get jealous. You can't compare yourself. You can't, uh, you know, stop taking so many selfies. <laughs> I don't know, probably a lot of advice. Um, but you know, be genuine. Uh, you know, it's it's okay sometimes I think to try and create something that's similar to things you like. But um, if you you know to to really do great things, you got to take risks. Um, you got to try and make something new um, and fresh. And and I would say read a lot, read a lot of books, and just you know you you really got to work on your craft. And it's never easy. And there's a lot involved. So don't give up. Excellent advice. Wow. I feel like I just took a course in 30 seconds. The KS Rhodes course. You're a Rhodes scholar, KS Rhodes. Rhodes scholar. Yeah, spelled different, but. <laughs> well, let's play, let's play because you are who you are. And thank you for taking time out. Are you still in a hotel room in Chicago? Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> uh, tonight I'm playing in Chicago with uh, Emily West. She's a, 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 an amazing singer who I write a lot of songs with. Oh, nice. Um, and yeah, so we're just playing here tonight and then heading to Florida tomorrow. So. Wow. Where are you going to be at in Florida? Uh, Fort Lauderdale, I think. Somewhere uh, down there. Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. And and the view from your room, any any good view of Chicago right now? Uh, no. Basically yeah. like a parking lot. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, but there will be tonight. We're playing at uh, this this. this Pretty cool spot tonight, and uh, and Emily, she's one of my uh, one of my favorite people to write with. Um, we uh, we've written some of my favorite songs together, and uh, and she's just such a great singer. She basically any melody she sings, it just sounds so nice. And, um, yeah, that's about that. Oh, cool! All right, Emily West. I'm gonna look her up. That sounds cool. Yeah, check, check her out. Well, KS Rhodes, thank you so much. KSRhodes.com is his website. And thanks for being on the show. Here's Because You Are Who You Are on Mike's Daily Podcast.
Because you are who you are. K.S. Rhodes. As we go outside of Cafe Anyway here at the last place on Earth located somewhere in Pod Castro Valley. A humongous thank you to K.S. Rhodes for being on the show. And here's today's podcast picture. And you can find out more about him at K.S. Rhodes. That's R-H-O-A-D-S dot com. And this is a little bit of the song that he had on that last episode of Nashville. I don't want to let you. I cannot forget you. I will never let you know. And in the last part of our interview, he talked about writing that song and how that song came about. So best of luck to K.S. Rhodes. And if you are a K.S. Rhodes follower, I like you and appreciate your taste oh yeah we're talking about the podcast picture now uh it is a picture of me what am i doing i'm holding a huge piece of kelp and my dog basil the boxer is somehow intrigued by this piece of kelp and enjoying standing in the water he never goes in the water so that was an interesting moment when he did that that was in santa cruz and it was a fun day and the weather was perfect. Oh, I gotta get down there again. It's been a while. It takes me like an hour and a half, but I should just do it. You just need to go and do things in life, right? And then you gotta not do other things like let people move in with you that you don't know, strangers. See, my last roommate, Jack, was fantastic. Although he never ever talked to me But he was amazing And he hosts a podcast I would have to find out stuff about him Through his podcast In fact that I just found out That he made it home He was from Chicago originally And he uh, drove all the way from California Back to Chicago And I found that out Listening to his podcast Which is called Marvel at the Movies Where he talks about Marvel stuff And you know See that's a thing That's my problem Because I cannot commit To any one particular thing with the podcasts, I can't do geek culture Because I really Yeah I like a Marvel movie now and then Get a little bit excited about the movies But I could care less Otherwise I, I turn in You know My Dr. Jekyll part Is all into Marvel And then my Hyde part Could care less And then I, I Then I'm like You know what I'm gonna go And I'm gonna watch How the states Got their shapes With Brian Unger Because he's a hilarious Personality And he talks to people Randomly in the street And I I learn things I love that show On Netflix In an upcoming Episode Of Mike's Daily Podcast I will be speaking To someone At a dog park Yes I'm gonna go To a dog park Since I go there A lot with Basil the Boxer And I get into A very interesting Conversation But the next show we are going to bring back the much loved segment called Do You Know Dat? by some Bentley. That's that thing you say over and over again that's really annoying. Thank you. Do you know that? Exactly. And we're going to find out about an interesting thing that you didn't know about about China that they're doing that's really odd and scary. And some other interesting news we'll get to next show. Plus, we will hear from Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike, I love Shelly Shuhart. Oh, hi, Brewmaster. Yeah, you didn't get to say much on today's show, did you? No, you let that strange lady with that accent talk a lot. You mean Madame Rutabaga? Yeah. Brewmaster, how come you forgot my name? I don't know. You sound like some weird character that Adam Sandler came up with. You know what? Maybe I am. But that's no way to treat a lady. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I'm just getting so excited about all the different days that there are. Like, we missed... Yesterday was National Bikini Day. And then today is National Fried Chicken Day. Of course, if you eat a lot of fried chicken, you can't get into a bikini. Michael Matthews had never stopped me before. Woo! All right. Fried chicken and bikini is the perfect combination. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.